parcel has just turned up from one of my favourite brands, Gilly Hicks, and I thought I would share it with you because it's some activewear and some loungewear that I'm really excited about for the coming season. And I know for a fact some of this is going to be packed for my trip. Um, some of this is going to be packed for an upcoming trip and it's mostly going to just be really good for the coming season and just updating my activewear wardrobe because I don't think I'm alone in the fact that new activewear makes me so much more inspired to go to the gym so whenever I put something new on I always just feel like I get a better workout and I'm more like motivated to go so I'm going to quickly talk you through all of these bits and share with you what I've got. First up is some leggings which are just plain black full length leggings they've got little pockets in the side and they've got this really nice thick waistband which I really like so when it comes to leggings I don't like when they've got like the really thin bit of elastic I like when it's quite a like big panel that just holds you in and feels really supportive while also staying up really well and these are a size small and they're really comfortable really flattering and they're like a nice buttery soft fabric so very very good for working out and just being like soft and cozy but I would also style these with a black sports bra or like a little black vest and wear them for like you know the kind of like athleisure style where it's like leggings and a crop and then you put like a blazer and trainers like that kind of style which i do wear quite a lot i'd wear them for that too then i also picked up two pairs of shorts which are the same so i got the black pair and a green pair i feel like the green is going to be easier to show you the style so they're very similar in style to the leggings with the little pockets but they've got this little crossover detail at the front which is really flattering and when you've got them on it kind of like accentuates your waist and makes it look smaller which i think is quite cool and i just kind of like having a bit of a different detail on some shorts than I do on like all my other gym clothes because I find that I end up with a lot of the same and I want things that look a bit different and that are going to be really beautiful and kind of be like stylish as well as just gym appropriate so really like these ones and then obviously the black is exactly the same but black obviously and these are the same fabric so really really soft and another thing I really like is that the legs aren't too tight so I do find sometimes with workout shorts they get a bit too tight around my leg and it just feels a bit uncomfortable whereas these ones are really really nice and soft and they don't kind of cling to my leg too much which is quite nice and they also to be honest don't really ride up either which I like then I got this little sports bra, which I, to be honest, might go back and get in other colours because I really like the white. It's really, really comfortable, great support. I don't typically do like hit workouts or anything too like jumpy and movey. I tend to stick to kind of low intensity cardio or like stairmasters or bikes or something where it's not too like they don't move, let's say. So this one was really great. It did hold me in really nicely and it was quite supportive. And the back is just really cute. So it's got like, this nice open back detailing and just like little rib detailing on the sides and stuff and this one again is a small and I do have to admit my favorite sports bras that I wear all the time are from Gilly Hicks they are just the best quality sports bras and I really like the styles of them and then last for active wear is this little jacket which I thought was a great one for the autumn months and into winter because when I go to the gym I tend to put on like big hoodies and stuff but it'd be really nice to work out in something that's a little bit less bulky and it's also good if I go on my daily walks to have something like this on because not only does it have like the zip the whole way down that I can undo but it's just nice and thin and comfortable and it's breathable because wearing like a big normal hoodie is so uncomfortable when it gets really hot whereas this is obviously breathable fabric that's meant for working out so it'll be great and it's got little like hand holes you can probably see there so it's got like the little thumb hole that you can just pop your thumb through as well so it doesn't ride up and if I was doing weights that's also really handy because it stops you getting all the calluses because it will kind of cover that part of your hand as well and then I personally am a bit of a sucker for PJs and loungewear so I picked up this little romper which is so cute and they did have a green version as well with little flowers I was on that was like a sagey colour that I want to definitely going to be going back for that one but I thought this was adorable for just lounging around the house because it's comfortable it's long sleeved super super soft and it's this really nice like waffle fabric as well which I loved and this just looks so cozy I have already tried it on for the cutaway and it fits like an absolute dream but so nice and snug and just something that I know I'll wear a lot through the autumn months and then lastly, I got a little mix and match set. So this is sold as separates, but I got it as a little set together. So I've got a little top here, which has got ruched sides, super soft fabric. If you've ever felt anything from the brand before, you'll know they have the softest loungewear ever. I've got loungewear from them that I've had for like two or three years now, and it's still so soft and comfortable. And then I got these as well, because these again are very loungy but also pjs and they're just a light flannel cute for the season we all have a bit of a plaid number when it gets to this time of year and i like that it's kind of like the soft pink and navy 
cuffed bottoms, little pockets, and there's no drawstring or anything, which I quite liked. So they're just a little elasticated pair that sit really nicely and super, super, super comfortable. Um, and again, in really soft fabric. And to be honest, you're probably gonna be seeing this through all of my vlogs in the future, because I know if you're watching this, you probably watch my vlogs a lot. And I have to admit, I'm a creature of habit when it comes to like loungewear and stuff. And I really like re-wearing the pieces I've got. So you're probably gonna see them coming up quite a lot. I think I'm gonna be putting the waffle set on tonight when I make dinner and stuff, because I've got a full day of filming and I really wanna just be cozy tonight when I just kind of chill and relax on the sofa. So yeah, gonna get on with my day and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Ignore my voice, I've literally just woken up and I'm going straight to the gym. Typically I go literally the minute I wake up. So I wake up, I wash my face, I brush my teeth and I go to the gym. So I've popped on some Gilly Hicks bits and I'm gonna give them a test drive. I know they're gonna be good because I've obviously used them before, but I thought I'd wear this set and then I'm just gonna pop on a big oversized hoodie um, and get myself to the gym to train some arms today because that's what's next on my agenda. And I'm very excited, but I'm very tired and it's like half six in the morning. <laughs> I just went to pull the washing out thinking it was done and um, there's now vanish all over the floor and I don't have any more vanish, so... Happy Saturday. <laughs> well, I was going to uh, do my washing as a nice little montage for the beginning of this vlog. However, as you have just seen, the washing didn't quite go to plan and it ended up being a bit of a, <laughs> a chaos. You would be correct if you thought that I had just crawled around the floor and scooped vanish up with my hands and put it back in the washing machine because I've run out of vanish. There is none left in my cupboard and I desperately needed to get the whites washed and I know that vanish is like essential part of that. So you would you would be correct if you think that I just crawled around the floor and collected vanish in my hands. That That is absolutely what I've just done. But it was gonna be a cute little montage for you and it was gonna be like a nice little like, Welcome to the vlog. Like, here's a cute montage of me doing like homey things. But that didn't happen because the vanish went over it. I was convinced the washing machine had been on last night and it obviously hadn't. So it's gone back on now. I'm trying to get like the last bits of washing done so that I can start packing so that I've got like all of my underwear clean, all of my like PJs and tops and whatever it needs cleaning is done so that I can finish packing because there's a few tops and stuff that I want to take which needed to go in the wash or like I've got a couple of white bikinis part of the problem with the vanish that have got like sun like sun lotion sun or like you know when you have like tanning oil that's a bit tinted orange like they've got a bit of stain on them so I've tried to chuck all of that in the wash so it's done but yeah um <laughs> Bit of a dilemma, so that, that was a fun start to my morning. But I've made my coffee in my little pumpkin mug. I got this from Next, I'll leave a link down below. They did have these last year and I tried to get them, but they'd sold out, so. I picked up another one this year. Well, I picked up two. So I've got two of those and two of a different type of autumn mug. And I'm gonna finish packing. So I do currently have this situation going on. So I put all of the clothes into here that I think I really wanna take. And then what I'm gonna do now is make some outfits on the floor and try and work out like what I definitely want to take and what works in like multiple outfits. Because I'm not planning to take too much. I want to make sure that everything that I take can be reworn because we only get 25 kg allowance, which isn't very much when you're going away for over two weeks. So it's gonna be a faff, but I also need to clean because my mum's coming today while I'm not here to look after the house. Um, I just like taking any parcels and stuff that need to be collected because there's a few important bits coming. But, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to see if I can make outfits. So like for example, the cohort that I just show, showed you on the floor, I'm going to try and make that work as like a set with a bikini underneath, but also the trousers with a different top and also like the shirt with the different trousers or like with a cute like black bando vibe underneath and like sandals for the evening. So I can rewear that like four different times and then I don't need to pack more if that makes sense. So I'm just going to see what I can do. the chaos behind me and the state of me right now but I love this so much this is a jumpsuit that I got back in 2017 and I absolutely love this it's so cute it's like a nice floaty number and I always felt a bit self-conscious to wear it because it is quite like clingy but I feel like I actually really like it and I don't know why I keep putting it back and not wearing it because I'm like oh it clings to my belly too much like I need to just embrace the fact that it's a cute jumpsuit 
and just wear it because otherwise it's going to live in my wardrobe forever being loved but never worn so it's coming on holiday and it's like really floaty and really <laughs> I'm trying to like show you the float but it's really floaty and comfy and I just really like it so I think this is going to go in the case like it's cute isn't it it's just like a it's a weird color it's like a bluey gray charcoal -y kind of color but it's just very cute and very floaty and I like the fact it's got this like panel bit over the top that ties up and it looks like a different bit like it just I don't know I also think this hanging down is a little bit more flattering because it kind of covers the bit that you maybe don't want seen but really nice I'm trying to <laughs> I'm um I'm making outfits and I have made quite a few outfits out of what I've got on the floor so I've put like a small bit I think you probably can't see but I've put a small bit to the side of the suitcase and what I'm doing is basically going through everything in the suitcase that was a yes and working out if I really need to take it, if it goes with enough things, if I'm actually going to wear it, etc. Because I don't want to pack like a different thing for every day because that's just annoying. I want to make it so, like I said a minute ago, like one thing, like one pair of shorts can be worn in like 60 different ways in the suitcase. And I also have like a pile of maybes on the chair. I have like a couple of bits on the bed that are also maybes and like all my shoes and stuff. And I'm just trying to see like what's going to work the best because realistically, like it's really hard as an influencer to get out of the mindset of like, I need to take a picture of every single outfit on holiday because it's always, like I've always been someone who goes on holiday and I get so much content because I used to be like a travel style person and that's what I did, I did outfits, but I also did outfits constantly away. And I think where we're getting into September, no one really cares about like being abroad and having holiday. Well, I mean, that's kind of not true. I think some people are still going away. I, a lot of people are still going away because it's cheaper, but, um, I just don't want to like overload with content and I also really want just an actual holiday to enjoy because the one I did to Santorini was the first time I'd really taken like a holiday in years like for more than a weekend kind of thing and I just really want to have like a proper like actual holiday where I don't focus on content too much like I still do content but I think the coming of reels has definitely made it easier because it means that like say for example I put this on to go to somewhere I can just say to James oh can you do like a five second reel of me just like stood here and like I'll I'll like do something and then walk off or whatever and it takes him seconds to get it rather than being like oh can you take pictures of me and then he gets frustrated and the camera's got to be too low and James's belly button comes to here for god's sake like the boy is so tall and that's not even an exaggeration if I could get him to show you in a video which he won't do because he hates being in videos and he literally does not like his picture being taken he does not want to be on social media which is why he never is just by the way um, that's why you only ever see like a fleeting thing of him in the background and I notice sometimes I do get him in the background and he'll be like <laughs> so he just doesn't like being on camera it's not like I don't want to share him I, I also kind of don't like I like the privacy of our relationship but yeah so he he literally his belly button comes to here like the boy is six foot seven he is very very tall he's like just about the height of my door frame if not a little bit taller um which for context But yeah, um, I'm waffling on. I was, I, I've gone on a whole tangent, but I'm packing and I'm trying to make it as minimal as possible. And I'm trying to do this trip a more, not really, I'm uh, kind of realistic, but I wanted to share more outfits where I'm re-wearing the same things because I think it's more realistic. Like I go on holiday with my friends and like Crete, for example, we didn't really take any, well, okay, we did take pictures, but they were more like for me pictures. I didn't really post anything, but a lot of what I had in my case was just like one pair of shorts that I re-wore for two days or like a couple of dresses and like it was very minimal which is what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to have as little as possible I want to try and make it so that not even one side of my case is clothing so like I've got because I roll my stuff I mean I actually do packing cube normally but I can't find my packing cubes anywhere um so I'm gonna roll everything but I need to make sure that like it doesn't take up too much space basically and then it means I've got more space for like just stuff. And I think I mentioned this already, but Tui only give you 25 kilos and my suitcase weighs five kilos, which means I only have 20. And if you go over, it's 18 pound a kilo. It's really bad. So I'm trying to like limit what goes in the case. Like all my designer bags and shoes and stuff typically go in my hand luggage anyway, because I'd rather they were on my person so they couldn't get lost. But I don't know. I'm also worrying about toiletries because that's all got to go in. But... The perk of going with a boyfriend means that you can palm off half the toiletries to him. Because let's be honest, 
they kind of need to take the brunt of some of the toiletries as well because they use the shampoo and conditioner they use like the everything apart from skincare so they can take most of that <sighs> i better go back to it also my friend just told me that if you order starbucks for collection the pumpkin spice lattes are back so in my brain i'm already very confused and i'm kind of in autumn mode but going on a summer holiday so like in autumn mode but thinking about packing bikinis and now she's added in the pistol so i'm in two minds about whether i get one or not because i don't know if i want to actually do you know what i'm just going to do it because we've got to go into town anyway and pick up like toiletries and final bits and pieces and actually i'm going to put one of these on i've got like a monster spot here can you see i always get these when i'm like about a week away from my period which yes means it will be coming when i'm on holiday but these are to be honest kind of expensive but they're called zit stickers and they basically just are little patches that you stick onto your spots and they're they're kind of invisible so when you put it on you can't see it but can you see it's got like little dots like raised dots so you just stick that side onto the spot and it basically puts like all the goodness into your i don't know if i really want to be doing a close-up of my spot right now but here we are you basically just like put it over your spot and then all of the stuff like work i'm assuming the little like bits like pierce it i don't i have no idea i don't know the science of it but they're basically like micro dart patches with like all the stuff that you need so i need to get hold of some more of these because i know there's a lot of brands that do them but i want to just get hold of a pack of them to take because if you're taking like a pack like this it's not really anything but it just means that if i get hormonal sports while i'm away i can sort them out because i've noticed every time i go on holiday i seem to end up with like one here or like they're always like somewhere here and they really annoy me so Time to get back to packing, stop talking Jess. We're off to the shop to try and get a few remaining bits for the holiday. So I've just chucked on this little outfit and I'm gonna put my docks on with it. So I've got this t-shirt, which is actually from Hollister. It just says Cosmic Soul, the universe lives within us. Obviously I get a t-shirt like this, this is me. And then this skirt is my nasty gal linen one that I wear quite a lot. But I just thought it was quite a cute, easy little outfit to wear for just going out and getting some little bits done. And then I used the, sorry, the TV's so loud. Where's the control? And then I actually used that creative wand that I showed in last week's vlog on my hair. And I do quite like it because it's given that almost like more beachy look. So the ends are still a bit more curled, but the top is kind of more, more soft now, which I really like. So yeah, good so far. Really like the way it looks. So we'll see what it looks like when it drops a bit more. My hair does tend to drop quite quickly, so it probably will be dropped soon. But I do like the front bit especially. Like I like the way it's kind of curled round. It just looks really soft and nice and beachy um but yeah this is what i'm wearing today day of running holiday errands basically boots and primark are gonna be my friend today <laughs> today has been a productive one we ended up going to town and getting last minute bits for the holiday so i thought i'd show you a couple of bits that i picked up and i also stocked up on some of these ready for tomorrow because I don't know if I've mentioned it in this vlog but I mentioned it last week I'm going with a couple of friends to Reading Festival for the day but we managed to get last minute tickets so we're going for the day tomorrow to see the 1975 and I am so excited I've seen them a fair few times at festivals and I love them like they are just always such a good show and there's also like Bastille, Halsey, um, Wes Nelson's playing who else was there? Charlie XCX, like, there's a few random people. Gutted we couldn't get Arctic Monkeys. We did try and get a weekend ticket, but the weekend ticket worked out so much more expensive than just buying a day last minute. So we just bought a day. But let me show you what I got. So I picked up a few random bits from Primark. So I got things like some pants, as you do. I also got some gloves because these, I, <laughs> I saw them and I know for a fact these always sell out so quick. So I thought I'd get my hands on some early. I got some of these because I thought they'd be good for wearing with my loafers. They're just like little, they're like granny pop socks, but I thought they'd be good for with loafers and like cute little dresses and stuff. Then I picked up some of these, which are just the little bras that are like crop top kind of vibes. I'm literally wearing it as a crop top. I'm not planning to wear it as a bra. I just wanted a white one and they came in three packs. Um, I got some of these because I have black ones, but I have a lot of white trainers that I want these kind of thing for. So I thought I'd get the white pair. I also got some bobbles. James asked me to get some black bobbles and I had to explain to him that girls only wear their hair colour in bobbles. But I don't, I, I don't know if I'm alone in that. Like, do you, when you shop for hair bobbles, do you buy like blonde for blonde, brunette for brunette kind of thing? Or do you just buy whatever's there? Because I always buy the lighter ones. And then I also picked up some of these, which are just like fashion tights 
they just got the spotty ones because I wear them a lot in the winter. I also picked up some of these. Well, James picked up some of these. He found them at the till. Just some gel cushions for a couple of pairs of shoes that I've got. And then I think that's everything we got, to be honest, apart from like odd bits from boots that was things like makeup and moisturiser and that kind of stuff for the holiday. So yeah, got that. I've got a big bag of tinnies ready for tomorrow and gonna make dinner and chill now, to be honest, and try and get some rest and relaxation wearing my Cosmic Soul t-shirt. I did take the skirt off because I was really, really hot, but yeah, gonna go and rest for the evening, make some little mini pizza quesadilla thingies and relax and finish doing my washing. I always have washing. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Sunday today and I'm heading to Reading Festival for the day with some friends. The weather is literally perfect, it's not too sunny, it's not too cloudy, it's still quite warm and we're going to have a couple of drinks here first, like I showed you yesterday, and then we're going to head over to the festival at about 2 o'clock I think, because I don't want to get there too early when we're not needing to, like there's not much point, we might as well just drink here, have the drinks that are cheaper, <laughs> and then go over, have some like late lunch burgers or something and then go around and do whatever, but... I'm just about to leave and go pick up the girls and need to grab one more drink because I thought I'd grabbed enough for four each and I've, I'm one short. So we scanned enough for four each, but we only picked up seven, which is, no, not seven. We only picked up 11. We only picked up seven porn star martinis is where I was going with that. But um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna go pick them up. This is what I chose to wear. So I'm gonna go with my docks as well. And then I've got, I'm, this top I'm undecided. I might put a different top on, but I'm wearing little shorts. I've got my docks going on my feet. So I've got my double dock socks on. And then this top, and then I'm gonna wear this All Saints jacket, which I've not actually worn before. I've had it for quite a while and I absolutely love it. And I was looking for my other one, saw this and was like, oh my God, this has to be worn today. Like it's perfect. So I'm gonna pop this on on top. But I am thinking about swapping this for just like a little vest top rather than the crossover. Like I like the crossover and it looks good with the docks, but I think when the jacket's on the top as well, like it just looks a bit better to have. I don't know, I don't know, I'm undecided. I might just leave it on because it's cozy, but undecided. I'm just being very, yeah. I'm just gonna see how I feel before I leave and then see what the girl's wearing and then I can decide whether I wanna change or not. But I feel like I don't wanna be too naked because I just don't. Like, I did have plaits in my hair, but I was like, I'm too old for plaits in my hair. Um, so I took them out. <laughs> a new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. No man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself. I've got my Gilly Hicks trousers on this evening, so just making dinner and having a really relaxing Monday that feels like a Sunday. So hair mask is in, PJs are on, and we're just cooking some yummy dinner, watching Orange is the New Black and having ultimate chill time. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making for dinner because I'm making like a peanut fried rice kind of thing um but it looks really yummy so i'll show you and then i'll share the recipe with you as well but yeah these are very very comfortable and then my hair is just masked with olaplex and the garnier food mask you know the banana one i always talk about i've popped that in as well so yeah and i also need to pop on some moisturizer because i've got really dry skin around my eyebrows where i got them done so i need to just like moisturize and get that back up to hydration so they stop flaking but yeah um anyone who knows me knows i love sriracha and anything like hot sauce I found this in Tesco's the other week and it's the best thing ever, it's sriracha tofu. If you haven't tried tofu, I highly recommend. I love air frying it, but I used to just put it in the oven and there's a million different recipes online of how to cook it properly and like make it tasty, but this is so good. So this is going in my rice instead of chicken today because we're using up what's in the fridge. Pre-holiday essential, using up everything in your fridge. Um, tell me you've got a keeper or tell me you've got a keeper. James has just prepared all of my veggies and stuff for me and I didn't even realise he was doing it, so thank you very much, babe. Okay. Much appreciated. <laughs> you don't have to though, I can do it myself, but thank you very much. <laughs> You know when you 
you cook something that's not like wholly, I don't, it doesn't look wholly appetizing, but you know it's gonna be really good. That's me right now, because this doesn't look like the most interesting dinner in the world, but I know it's gonna taste really good. And we've got some broccoli to go on the side as well, because James has made bangers and mash, and he wants some broccoli, and I'm gonna add some too. And I've also made enough, oh, and I've also made enough for my dinner tomorrow as well, so that I don't have to worry about cooking again, so. Yeah, I need to do something with this, it's hot. <laughs> One very delicious but very unappetizing looking dinner of <laughs> air fried broccoli with some chilli salt on it and some peanut fried rice with some tofu in it. Yummy! Good morning. I've had a very productive gym session where it could have gone really the opposite way because I just was not in the mood this morning. That's it, exactly. Whoa. I just, I woke up late, I didn't want to go, and typically for me, like 8 a.m. is a late gym session. And I just, I really couldn't be bothered. But not every day you're motivated to go to the gym. And one of the biggest things, like I watch a lot of like fitness influencers and stuff. And one of the biggest things that a lot of people talk about is how like motivation can only get you so far. It's like the discipline. And I was like, I need the discipline. Where's the discipline this morning? It needs to happen. Discipline is obviously a big part of fitness. Like not everyone is motivated every day, even the most, fit to people in the world and I'm motivated every day and I decided I'm gonna sit in the car and I'm gonna just kind of reel off gratitude which is something I talked about in my manifestation video the other day so if you haven't seen that I strongly recommend checking it out that's kind of like my go-to like one-stop shop of manifestation and all things like manifesting and um I just, I sat in the car and I reeled off loads of manifestations. Um, but this morning I'm off to puppy sit my best friend's dog. So if you, <laughs> I think I've showed him, did I show him on here before? I don't think I've showed him on the vlog before, but she got a new puppy about three weeks ago and she's got to go somewhere today and there's no one to look after him. So I've offered to go over and watch Bailey for a few hours, which is going to be very sweet. He is the cutest little pup in the world. Like he just, he's so lovely and I just adore him, he's so sweet. So I'm gonna go make sure he's okay and look after him and take him out for a little run around the garden and stuff. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna drink my little breakfast Yule shake. Told you these come in handy sometimes. Um, the <laughs> I don't have time to go home and get breakfast before I go to hers. So this was my option to just give me a bit of fuel. And then if I'm at hers, I can just order like a pret salad or something for lunch, which is kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Or just waiting till I go home. because I think she's back about half 12, one. So I could just wait till I go home and have something there. Straight back home and into the coziest little romper ever. I honestly love this so much. This is the Gilly Hicks one that I showed you earlier and it's just so comfortable. They do do like a sage green one with flowers on that I really want and I'm pretty sure last year they did a plaid one which matched the trousers that I've got, the ones that I showed you yesterday. So I'm really hoping they bring it back because I love anything they have loungewear wise. Like I have one from last year that's like a full long sleeve, long leg, um, like jumpsuit and it's got little foxes with sand hats and I love it so I'm really hoping they do more like that because this is just the coziest thing in the whole world and I'm gonna put my slippers on because it's actually a little bit chilly today and I always find that I get the coldest in my feet first so I'm gonna wrap up toasty and carry on editing. As promised I'm announcing the winner of the GHD giveaway and I did a little random generator thing online so that it would pick a completely random person there's no bias I put everyone's names in and this is the name that got pulled out so if this is you let me know down below your Instagram handle I'll also leave a comment under your one on the previous video and let you know that you've won but congratulations you've won a little GHD curve so I'll be posting that out to you next well It'll be when I get back from my trip, so it'll be in a few weeks' time, but I'll discuss it with you over DM and stuff. But yeah, congratulations on winning, and I will try and do another giveaway soon because I really like doing this one. But that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the bits that I got from Gilly Hicks. I'll leave all the links and stuff down below, and just kind of a last-minute packing and getting on with things kind of vlog, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me, and there will be three videos a week coming for the next few weeks because... I am officially scheduled up for while I'm on holiday and a little bit after. So thank God I finally managed to get ahead of myself and stay consistent. We know it's a challenge sometimes. But hopefully you liked it, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.